Welcome my Fina loves, it's this Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Latasha spending her sister's 30k that she stole. Listen, I'm trying, okay? But every time I'm about to put the finishing touches on my review, somebody else is doing another interview, someone is clapping back in the blog page comment section, somebody is doing an Amazon Live and talking. It's just been a hot mess with Escape. So I'm going to talk about this Tasha interview and also Candy clapping back because one of the blog pages posted a clip from Candy speak on it, defending herself and all of that. And then hopefully I can spend the rest of the night completing my review and I can post it tomorrow afternoon. One of the things that bothered Candy from the last episode was Tasha insinuating that Candy was or been jealous of her because you know she's the one sinking all of these leads on their albums and all of that. So Candy went on speak on it. And she was basically showing proof that these are all of the songs I sang lead on. So how am I jealous or how could I have been jealous of you because you were singing all of these leads when I sang the same amount, if not more leads than you on these albums. Some of the spaces that have an image of Candy on it, those are the songs that Candy did on these two albums that went platinum so candy point is how could i have been jealous because you sang leads on all of these songs when i was doing the same thing so when the blog page posted it yes tasha is getting dragged i mean it's bad however you have people leaving comments like but you know she sings better than you but that wasn't candy point so candy wrote we got a lot of drama, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of the narrative being pushed that I was jealous of her. So I had to say how I feel. She has a beautiful voice and I am not saying I sing better at all. What I am saying is that my voice is distinctive and I hold my own and I was not jealous of her. So stop it. We went into our third album knowing she was going solo. So yes, I had a lot to say about it because our ish was falling apart. 30 years later, we still going through the same ish. We are a mess. That was a lot, but bleep it. When a situation have you going to the blog pages, clapping back, and have your voice hitting this high pitch like this and reacting like this. Please tell me that's so are you talking about me i'm not even in the group and y'all stressing me tasha is making the rounds promoting her new gospel album and all of that and her single and everything else so of course they're gonna ask her about the situation that's going on if you click the very first link in the description below it will take you to the interview that tasha did okay so put me on pause Go ahead and listen to the interview. It's not a long interview at all. So that way I'm not wasting extra time explaining everything she said in the interview. So put me on pause right now. Click the very first link in the description below. Go to the interview and then come back and let's talk about it. Let's talk about these allegations. Unless Demika decides to show proof or press charges, it's her word against yours and no one is going to publicly admit to fraud who's going to do that so i didn't expect her to sit there and be like oh yeah she said yeah of course i was expecting her to be like she's lying so let's start there and get it out of the way tasha also insinuated that her sister was performing for the camera once again projecting because that's exactly what you did was very cold to her during a meeting with swv but the moment you were in the presence of your mother then she was your sister again you know, she was always be family and you were willing to give her a hug and all of that. She did not receive that same treatment earlier. So if you think she's performing, who Chad, and you need an Academy Award for your performance. Another thing is, I can't stand people who behave like or 
insult the intelligence of the viewers. Did we not watch the show? Like, are you assuming we didn't watch the show? When did your sister disrespect your mother? She didn't. She never disrespected your mother. Express how it always feels two against one and that her mother always take your side. She was expressing her feelings and expressing herself. She wasn't screaming at your mother in a disrespectful way to take her down. She was just saying, mom, I'm expressing how this makes me feel. Her mother says she's very big on communication and you all were there to communicate. And that's exactly what she was doing. So there was no disrespect going on. I guess she just felt like family business should be family business. And the fact that her sister brought this to TV, that's disrespectful. I think that's what she's referring to. I also said in that interview that they had a show before. And after all of these years, if that really happened, that meaning if she stole her sister money, why didn't her sister say anything? And I'm just like, are you serious right now? You just talked about how family business supposed to be family business. You can fight behind closed doors, but don't bring her to TV. And that she's disrespecting your mother and your family and your family name and all of that. Those are all of the reasons why she did not bring it to the public to protect the family. But I'm not protecting no family that don't protect me. That's how she feels. If it feels two against one. If I feel like my mother values you more than me and I don't feel protected and loved, then what am I protecting? That's how Tamika feels. And that's the reason why she went ahead and said, okay, well then I'm not keeping this secret anymore and reveal that Tasha stole her money. But Tasha, girl, I know you are sitting there saying to yourself, listen, I know my sister is upset and she brought us a TV, but she will never ever go that low she is not going to stoop that low to expose anything or bring receipts to the point where i could get investigated or get arrested my sister will never do that all i'm saying is the same way how you push her button to the point where she brought this to the public don't push her button before she snaps and do exactly that this is not uh because everyone is coming for tasha let us jump on the bandwagon no i'm watching the show and i'm not here for her attitude that doesn't mean all of the other ladies don't have their flaws or that they're perfect absolutely not but she tasha is a piece of work candy said girl people go solo all the time when they have a group just sit us down and say hey i'm going solo be nice, professional, and polite about it. They will all support you. Probably even come to your concerts and sing background for you and with you, uplift you. But why does it have to be chaotic? Why do you have to create chaos just so you can have a reason to say, and this is the reason why I'm going solo. Just say, I want to take a break from the group and I want to go solo and it will be okay. It doesn't have to be chaotic, however, it's a blessing in disguise because Bravo is cutting the check and all of y'all getting paid from your drama. But hopefully, hopefully they can work it out because it's just too much. We need a Yana to come fix our life. It's like a mess. A whole mess. So I did not like when their mother turned around and you could read her lips saying that Tamika was jealous of her sister. I didn't like that. And lastly, regardless of how stressful all of this is, this is good promo for their show. But hopefully, you can come to a resolution or a reconciliation or move on without Tasha. And they've been doing it for months. Majority of their performances for months, they've been without her. And they've been selling out shows and everything. So just keep doing that. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.